Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, this is just kind of a follow-up to the last video I posted about getting my AMD cards up and running with my NVIDIA cards here, all on the same mining rig. And I spent the last week, if you notice I haven't uploaded again, I spent the last week troubleshooting and trying to figure out exactly what was causing the issue. I knew my all my AMD cards weren't bad, I figured maybe one or two of them because I did buy them used and potentially not working, so that was a factor of course but then i decided to put my amd cards right onto my normal computer motherboard and it seemed to fire up and work properly fine but then when i put them onto the risers here that's when it didn't work so what i did was i figured why not get a mining motherboard that has the direct uh gpu ports right on the motherboard here then that's what i did i went on amazon and bought one for around a hundred dollars or so and it supports uh, what is it? We got four, five, six, seven GPUs, I think it does, seven or eight. And obviously, it depends on your power supply. So, I picked up for a pretty good deal. It comes with the RAM and CPU and everything all pre installed and ready to go. So, it's a pretty good deal, and I figured why not just for an attempt to see if this solved the problem. And as you can see, it is up and running. All my cards, you can probably hear it. Yeah, they're all up and running, and they are all mining. So the next thing was, I was running on Windows operating system, and I think that came into uh, effect, like that had a potential effect on the whole rig itself too, because I figure with Windows, there could have been a cross-compatibility issue running NVIDIA and AMD, just for some reason, there's probably some proper way you have to go about setting it up, so that way both like brands work, because they take different drivers and everything. And with Windows, Windows is very finicky. So what I did was I made a USB stick and I put minor stat operating system on it. And I put it in and it picked up, it started running, but then it started glitching out like all the graphics cards, they weren't reading properly, kind of like the Windows situation. So I was like, okay, I probably have one more last shot here and that's gonna be Hive OS. So fingers crossed that it works because from what I know, that's my last option for an operating system other than NiceHash OS, but it's a little more complex to use. So I figured let's use Hive OS. I put that on a USB stick and lo and behold, it booted up all the graphics cards. Everything is up and reading and everything is up and mining. So it took a couple of weeks, but we finally, you know, troubleshooted all the problems and ran down the whole list of potential things it could be. And it came down to the risers and it having to be right on these GPU slots. So that obviously has an effect with AMD for some reason. I'm not sure if it's just me or something I'm doing, but this is the route I'm going since it is working for me. And then I just put Hive OS on it and we're good to go. We'll just jump over and I'll show you Hive OS quickly. So if we take a look here, there's all my cards. They all are all reading perfectly fine. The 1063 gigabyte, the Radon RX 570, the 1650, and the other 1063 gigabyte. The temperatures are a little high because they are a little close together. But I've always had trouble lately with the one uh, 1650 and also the 1060 graphics cards. So there's been a little bit of trouble as, as you can tell with these last two compared to these other two temperatures. And I've tried, you know, changing thermal paste and everything, but it hasn't worked. So I just leave it mining for now. But obviously I'm mining to nice hash and I'm mining K heavy hash. So it's all up and running here. So as you see, and there's all like the temperatures and what the speeds are and my total like mega hash and everything. So as you see, we are up and running. I've been up and running most of the day here, so I'm pretty happy that we got this figured out and we are up and running now. Now you may be wondering, like I posted in my last video, I had a couple other AMD cards and unfortunately they are down here. This is a 470 or four, yeah, I believe. Um, let's see, try to get it to focus here. Yeah, it's a 470, four gigabyte and this is an uh, RX 560 4 gigabyte, but unfortunately they both do not work. I've tested in separate computers They just don't display the drivers are all messed up and everything so I don't want to go more in depth with it I don't know too much more when it comes to graphics cards and the things So I figured just to list them on eBay as parts and not working and try to get rid of them So we can bring in another NVIDIA card or AMD card to add to this rig and then that way We will have five cards up and running but right now it shows on my nice hash. I'm currently am making around, I think it's about 60 to 70 cents a day Canadian. And that's mining on Caspa right to, uh, and it converts over to Bitcoin. So, and that's been steady all afternoon. So I don't think it's a glitch or a bug or anything. It fluctuates, of course, depending on the price and how the markets are going and everything. But Caspa has kind of been on the uphill. So has Bitcoin itself. 
So it's all kind of balancing out. Mining is kind of slowly adjusting back and slowly gaining profits ever so slightly day by day, like closer to gaining profits uh, penny by penny, day by day, you know. And that's just how we're going to run with it for mining for now. So yeah, for now I'm going to be running the Hive OS as we see here. And then it's going to be running on, I'm going to be running these graphics cards. I'm not going to worry about these ones and getting them fixed. I'm just going to sell them. So yeah, we'll be running, I believe this is... This is the RX 574 gigabyte. It's the Nitro one or something like that. This is a 1654 gigabyte and two 1063 gigabytes. So yeah, it's more or less a budget rig. But once I come across more good deals, I'll try to scoop them up to bring more GPUs to this rig. So I want to fill up these other slots and then I'll need to upgrade obviously the power supply here so I can get more GPU ports and power. But that's all going to be down the road. I eventually want to get multiple rigs up and running but that's all in future process. Uh, that's all a future process. With the markets and stuff being low, if you even go on eBay or any like marketplace, um, Facebook or anything, and you look for graphics cards, at least in my area and within Canada on eBay, the graphics cards are coming down in price. You can get like an eight gigabyte RX, I believe it's like 570 or higher for like around $150 or less. So, so the prices are coming down. I remember seeing eight gigabyte cards for two or $300. So we're slowly are declining and obviously with crypto prices being a bit on the downside is a good time to go out and pick up GPUs in my opinion. This is obviously not financial advice, this is just me speaking as a guy in his room here mining away at my own personal expense. But I am just building up graphics cards, I hopefully was going to have two more as we see down there but that didn't work out, they ended up being fully toast. So at least we got one out of the three AMD cards we got. So we'll be building up over time. Here. But yeah, I'm like I'm happy in all that we got this fully up and running with AMD and Nvidia. Unfortunately, I did have to spend more money on the motherboard, but that's besides the fact. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to follow up on everything so you guys know where I'm at here. So now we can do kind of tutorials with Hive OS since Windows obviously doesn't want to work with me running both of these brands of cards. But yeah, that's just kind of where I'm going to end it here. I just want to touch base and show you guys where we're at here with mining rigs. I still have the other motherboard here with all the USBs and everything. In case we get another like NVIDIA or AMD rig that's able to run on these risers. And then we can set up another mining frame and get up and going. And be all good to go there with my second rig. So we kind of already have pieces of the puzzle here to slowly build up more and more rigs. We just need more proper graphics cards for mining. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as it lets me know you are enjoying it. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.